What's up YouTube? Today we're going to take a look at lead code problem number 1369, get the second most recent activity. This one is marked as hard, let's get into it. So we have just one table called user activity where we have a username, activity, start date and end date. This table does not contain a primary key and this table contains information about the activity performed of each user in a period of time. A person with username performed activity from start date to end date. Our task is to write an SQL query to show the second most recent activity of each user. If the user only has one activity, return that one. A user can perform more than one activity at the same time. Return the result table in any order. The query result format should be in the following format. We have a username, activity, start date and end date. Once again, they can only do one activity at a time, we want to get the second most recent activity of each user. And if they only have one activity, we're going to return that one. So let's get into coding that up. So let's start out by getting the second most recent activity. I'm going to solve this one using window functions. So if you haven't heard about window functions at all, you should probably read up on that first. But then again, I'm using one of the simplest window functions, which is rank. And that is one of the most common use cases as well. So let's just get into that by selecting all of these columns we have in our user activity table because we should output all of these. So we could write star here but I'm gonna write them out start date and date as well and then we're gonna construct our window function using rank and I'm gonna use the standard window function syntax of having a sy your window function here an over keyword and then in brackets, partition by a field and order by a field. And we're gonna call that R and since we're trying to find the second most recent activity, we're gonna create a rank of when activities ended. And then if we have that rank and it's ordered by the end date of that activity, we can tell which is the second most recent activity by just having rank two. So we're kind of ordering that table and then just select the second row from, from that and that should be enough to get us the second most recent activity of each user. So let's create that rank over that partition of username. So we need to create that partition to only calculate that rank for each username and then we order by the end date. So once again, a user can perform more than one activity at the same time. So we can just use end date here because they're not gonna overlap. So we can just order by end date descendingly, yes. So the highest, the most recent activity will be the number one rank. And then if we want to get the second most recent activity, we're going to use uh, rank 2. So once again, we're going to partition by username. So we're going to create that ranking for each username. So let's say for Alice, we have three entries. So we're going to get rank 1, 2, 3. And rank 1 is going to be this one, 28th of February, since we're sorting or we're ordering descendingly. Most recent is on top. Then we have two for 23rd of February and one for 20th of February. And two is what we should output. So we should get that row for Alice here. Bob is a special case because he only has one entry and one activity done in that table. So we're gonna need to do something else to get that. So let's not forget to select from that user activity table and see what that gives us to visualize what we're doing here. So we have a rank assigned to Alice who traveled from 24th to 28th of February. That would be rank one and then dancing would be rank two because it has been further in the past. And Bob is only gonna have that one entry because he only do one activity. So we can't get the second most recent activity for him. So in order to just get that entry for the second rank, rank two. 
We're gonna call this one lookup and put it in brackets to make it a subquery and be able to select from that. So now we're gonna select all these fields from this lookup table where the rank is two. So that only gives us the second most recent activities. And that is a very common theme and you could apply this to basically any table where you want the second highest salary, second most recent order or anything. So yeah, and you could easily change it to third or fourth recent or highest. So it's very flexible. So we have that entry for Alice dancing from 21st to 23rd, which is what we should output. And now we just need to somehow get Bob who only has one activity in there. So we were able to select the second most recent activities for each user, but we didn't yet cover Bob who only did one activity and we should also output that. So there's a trick to do that. And it's not that, that easy to come up with yourself unless you do exactly what the question states. And it states, if the user only has one activity, return that one. So we're gonna come up with the number of activities each user has. And if, it's, if that's one, we're gonna output that. It's as easy as that. So we're gonna use count to count the number of activities each user participated in. And if that's one, we output that as well. So we also need to partition by username to only count up for each username and we don't need any ordering here. And we're gonna call that one C for count. And if that count is one, we also want to output that. So we're gonna to add to our where filter and say, we're gonna output entries from this lookup table. If the rank is two, being the second most recent activity, or if the count for that username is one, if they only have one activity. So we were able to establish that and cover both options of being either the second most recent activity or just having one activity. And if we run that code, that is accepted. If we submit that, that is accepted as well. And that's it for this problem. So I'm gonna once again run what's in the subquery to see what's in there. And as you can see for Alice, we have that rank of one for the most recent activity ending on February 28th. We have dancing as the second most recent ending on 23rd and then travel which ended on 20th as the third most recent activity. But then we have a count of three for all of these entries because it's all Alice. So we're just counting up for each user. So it's always gonna be three for Alice and it's one for Bob. And that's why we output that Bob entry as well because it has a count of one and we output that entry of dancing because it has a rank of two. And that's it for this problem. So we were able to solve this problem quite nicely overall, I think. And if you want to have more of these kinds of videos in your sub feed, remember to subscribe to the channel or just go through the playlists I made because I made playlists on each difficulty for LeetCode SQL database problems. I have one for easy, medium and hard and I have one playlist for all LeetCode database problems that I did on this channel. So check them out and follow along if you want to study more and I hope I see you in one of my other videos. See you.